Okay, so our coil pot has been fired in the kiln and you can see that it turned white and it's nice and hard and permanent. And now we're going to paint it today with watercolors. Uh, initially, we were going to use glaze, but we ran into a problem with our kiln. And one of the other schools, uh, Buckner Elementary, was kind enough to allow us to fire our work in their kiln, but we can't take the things over again for glaze, which is required to uh, melt it into the glassy finish. However, I think you're going to um, be impressed with the beauty of the watercolors. Um, so you can use anything you want. You'll notice that when you apply these, um, it will spread, let's see here, make sure I'm on the camera. It will spread a little bit, just like it would on paper. So I'm not going to add a ton of water other than when I rinse, because that will hopefully help me to keep the paint where I want it to be. Hold this like a pencil and just keep your hand nice and slow so that you can be precise if that's something that you're wanting to do. Um, you'll notice that the color soaks in fairly quickly, almost immediately, and you kind of get a light, almost what I would consider like a dreamy effect. And that can be beautiful, but if you want your color bolder, just put on more layers. So if I wanted this to stay as red as it is when it's first on, let that soak in. And then just go back for another layer, maybe trying to get in these cracks if you can, but you don't have to, okay? In between your colors, rinse, obviously, and then just make sure that as soon as your water starts getting um, dirty, you know, it starts turning blue or brown or whatever, um, I would recommend keeping the water really clean because that just makes it um, so that your color is pure. If you put brown or blue water into a light color like yellow, the color is not going to look pure yellow anymore. Okay. You could have a color scheme, like cool colors, all blues and greens and purples. That could look beautiful. You could do warm colors, yellows and oranges and reds and pinks, if that is something that would interest you. Or you could even just do the rainbow or do it purely on uh, the colors that you feel, okay? So it's already looking very nice. And it may take us a couple of days to paint the whole thing as intricately as we have in our minds that we want to. Um, and of course on the second day, maybe going back and checking for if it's as bright as you want it to be. And then when they're finished, we should have an option of either leaving them like they are, um, which is the soft kind of, we would call this matte color. In other words, not shiny is what matte means. Or I've got some spray um, in my closet that I could spray right on top of your colors and it'll make your finished pot look a little bit more shiny. So I'll let you choose. One is not better than another. It just totally depends on what you like, what looks good to you. Okay. So have a little fun with it. Be sure to put several layers on uh, if you want it brighter, because you'll notice that soaking in. Um, and just enjoy the fun of the process. Okay.